Hello, underachievers. So right now, I'm on tour in, in America, America with Teenage and GX2. So you can buy tickets if you want to, but here's last year's vlog. Hello, it's the 31st of March. Hello, it's Friday the 31st of March, and I am packing to go to America tomorrow, which is... That's fun. This is what my room looks like. It's a bit of a mess. It took me 20 minutes to find my phone to film this. Feeling surprisingly relaxed. I assumed that I'd be way more stressed out. I'm definitely not taking as much stuff as I took last time because I took way too much stuff. But there are a few things that are kind of annoying. Number one being that my testosterone is just not, it's just not in stock anywhere until April, which obviously I'm going to be in America then. So what I had to do was call a bunch of pharmacies to try and find if they had a different testosterone in stock. Luckily, I've got it now. I was bricking it. I'm trying to vaguely organize my stuff. There's all my toiletries and like electronics and protein and that kind of stuff. I'm currently stuck on what clothes to bring because I have a lot of clothes. I also had a brand deal video to film earlier. I need to go and get printer ink to print out some pages for a thing called a carne, which I may explain. And then I also have to drop off my keys to my friend Dodie because she's gonna water our house plants, which they're mostly dead anyway. But it's a fun idea. I don't wanna wake up. <laughs> my body hurts. Here's what I was talking about yesterday. It's called a carne. It's French, oh. maybe. <laughs> it's a list of every single thing that we're bringing. Ukulele, guitar, strings. I'm very tired, but look how fat this is. It's massive. It's too much. Now I am dropping off the keys to Dirty's house. It's 9.15. I do not wake up this early or leave the house. So it turns out a lot of people are awake at this time because I just walked past so many people just like this. And there's a hole in my car. This is all our shit. Literally, all us. By the way, I'm vlogging this whole thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> if you have a footstool or a video screen, please do it now. Guess who got We're randomly selected? For security. The no. doors to the club suite. Uh, wow. I need to stretch. Ugh, I hate that. I hate it. So our plane landed at 8.30 and then we had to queue for so long, for like an hour. Americans are so bad at queuing. As soon as I arrived, I was reminded of these little annoying things about America that don't exist in the UK that make me grateful for living in the UK, even though the UK also sucks. It's, yeah, it's 20 to midnight. We are in the hotel room. Here's the hotel room. This is my bed. We've got separate beds. I we're having marital problems. Ah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, I should have said, in the UK, it's almost 5 a.m. I woke up at 9 a.m. And I didn't really sleep on the plane. And I didn't really sleep the night before we left, which was... Here? Technically today. But in the UK, that was yesterday. I'm very tired. We're gonna go to IHOP for dinner. That'll be fun. Are you enjoying your IHOP? Yeah. I'm so tired. I want to cry. Food tour. I said no eggs, please. And they gave me no eggs. Now that's the television. Oh. We have sprinkles for breakfast. Hello. It is the morning of the first night. <laughs> I went to bed at like two. Later than that, three. I think I went to bed at like 1.30. And then I woke up at 6.30. And then at 7.30. And then at 8.30, it's now almost 9.30. And we are having breakfast. Chloe has waffle and waffle. And I have fruit loops. I am very tired. This shower looks so nice. It's so big. I smell so bad. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Got a spider. Just man. a bit Oh, God, that is... Yeah. Oh. It's my eggs in the heat. I'm not like, where's Charlie? I'm telling you, yeah. Sort myself out with some lights. <laughs> I'm the pot. 
Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot. People say, Noah, you don't need a premium sponge. And I say, this is my emotional support sponge. Big wow. Very big wow. So if you want some pink power cords, actually cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> that is not that's not that's not physically possible so day one we're in atlanta here's green room got a little fridge got some bits and bobs kind of cool Kind of cool. It's the world's comfiest sofa. My manager ordered a Chipotle, and I got a kid's meal because I can't really eat that much before shows. And I ordered fruit with it, and it the orange came in a little tub, which is interesting because it already has a protective covering. Very strange. Oh, it was wet. <laughs> I have just been signing a bunch of VIP posters, VIPs, and a bunch of CDs because we're going to be selling signed ones. You can only see these because this video is coming out after the tour. You're not actually allowed to show anybody these on tour because people will try and duplicate them, but. These are the laminates. They're sick. <laughs> Killing it. We've got these sick pins. I'm just like obsessed. It was so good. I almost cried. I've never almost cried at a show. And I almost cried. That was stressful. That was a really good show. Atlanta's always really good. I say that playing, <laughs> having only played it once. Twice? Well, I played it twice now. Thank you, Corey, for the correction. <laughs> you know what I meant. You know what I meant. Yeah, it was a great show. Energy was great. Just the best. People in the crowd were the best. <laughs> the VIP was the best. Everybody was so nice. So, 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 so lovely. Barely any technical difficulties, which is very, very rare for the first show of tour. Great first show of tour. Hell yeah. So when we played Atlanta last year, that was a great show. I had a really good time. It was really fun vibes. Everybody in the crowd was very vocal. They moved a lot. That was really fun. This time in Atlanta was absolutely insane the venue was bigger uh there were more people but the vibes were completely different and obviously a lot has happened since last year there's been a lot of anti-trans laws put into place so this show in atlanta honestly i almost cried i was tearing up during asthma attack i had to stop singing for a little bit because i thought i was gonna cry and ugh, i was making eye contact with other people crying and it was it was a lot but it was very therapeutic and the vip was great i met so many lovely kids and there are a good few parents of trans kids that were just like the absolute loveliest like there was this mom and dad of these two kids that just they were the sweetest people i've ever met at the end of the set during stupid my guitar lead came out which has actually never happened so far for some reason this was the first time i took off my guitar and had a little dance with the horse because mr rat is missing right now but that was fun hello <laughs> i'm in north carolina right now the sun is stunning i don't even know where it is there it is somewhere it's bright <laughs> so we're now in north carolina it's very very bright it's about 12 30. i had a good night last night didn't get to bed too late today i've got to film some promo for a donut we're doing like a giveaway of vip tickets and whoever buys the no offense donut which i don't actually know what it looks like yet filming that today so we're down two merch items the first merch item which is like a red stripy long sleeve just hasn't been delivered yet the second one said that it was delivered but it wasn't, so that's lost. Which is kind of annoying. But it's fine. Um, but yeah, North Carolina. Carolina, this button is not to go over here. Because that would take too much sense. It's to go over there. But you only come to cross this road from this direction. There's no other. Don't look over here. Don't look over here. <laughs> don't look don't look in this direction, because you can't come from here. Gonna you can only walk so hard right now. More like Gable. <laughs> not in North Carolina. Yeah, that's top notch. Look, that's double breasted. Unreal. Always are you me saying, Oh, my heavens, please don't touch me. What's usually your favorite part of It's usually like, Oh, I sound like such an arm, so it's the VIP. 
Um, no, part I'm filming. I'm stupid. I'm gonna <laughs> fuck it for ya. I'm losing oh. all my self respect. North Carolina, the crowd were great. I had a very, very, very difficult show. I'm not entirely sure why. I mean, I was still a bit jet lagged. I haven't really been sleeping that well at all, considering the bandwagon is just so bumpy. I thought a tour bus was bad. I feel like I was flying half the time, so I didn't really sleep. Nobody else really slept. I genuinely thought I was gonna pass out after playing three songs. It was very difficult, but I've watched some videos and I don't think I made it obvious. I feel like I'm quite good at just smiling through the pain. I obviously met a bunch of kids in North Carolina that came to the last North Carolina show. And you know what? They were great and they had actually made friends. There are a few people that came as part of a friend group that they made from last year, which is kind of the entire point of people coming to these shows. I feel like that's the most fun part, seeing you guys make friends. There are people that are like now in relationships together and have been for like seven months, which is really cute. Hey, what well, you got your feet up? I didn't know you could see my feet. I didn't know I could see your feet. I'm very tired. <laughs> So this is what we call a scrim, which I don't know what that means or if it stands for something, but it's a new addition to the stage that Connor came up with. The N is for Norbit, uh, Nigel, Fizz. Uh, it's actually made out of like PVC piping, I think is what it's called. We went to Home Depot, Home Depot, uh, a few days ago just to get it built. And it's just huge and it's great. We also have another one, F's in the chat. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! I think Baltimore has been my favorite show so far. I've never played Baltimore. I did have high expectations, and honestly, the expectations were completely exceeded. The audience was really great. Everybody seemed to be having, like, the best time. And it's kind of weird that in different states, the audiences are different, even for, like, VIP and just for the general audience. Baltimore, insane. Also, Charlie fell over right at the end of the set, and it was, it was, just, it was just really funny. We went out after the Baltimore show, most of my team and a few of the Bears and Trees team. Yo, so we that off Rip Vegas, baby! Yeah. Went to an Irish bar, and the fire alarm went off. <laughs> which was horrific, and it went off for so long, it was horrible, but it was a fun night. Yeah! Get up, get up. Where was you getting? Guys, I'm trying to sleep in there. Can you give me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
I need to go on vocal rest now. Four to six days later. I have not been vlogging because I have been ill. <laughs> we need to take care of you, all right? Get a sleep. That was very ill, so we need to look after him at all costs. Like, no walking, no stress. So, it's all going to be all right. It's all going to be good. It's all going to be okay. We're getting to bed. You have a good sleep. I'm ill. Come on, Mr. Fitz. Let's get you to bed. Four to six more days later. So I got tonsillitis, which is really fun and cool, and the best thing to happen to anyone ever while they're on tour and need to sing and speak to lots of people every single day. So that's been fun. I am currently in Detroit in a venue where a lot of 8 Mile was filmed. Apparently Eminem used to have a bunch of rap battles here. <laughs> Let me find another way to tell you that I'm upset more of the story. Life's a bit bad shit. Also Nirvana played here, which is really cool. We went to go see a hockey match in New Jersey, which was insane and not like anything I'd ever seen before. Where are we, uh... Because sports in the UK is fun, but it's just sports. It's not mostly entertainment. But apparently sports in America is just as much information as they can get into your brain in the littlest amount of time. Literally every two minutes, there's a new animation on the screen. There were breaks every like five minutes. There were like mini games that people in the crowd were playing. It was really weird, but it was really fun. And now I'm a Devils supporter because they're the team that won. And they also have a chant that just says, you suck every time they score, which is very weird. Nothing else really notable happened in New Jersey, apart from the fact that I went out for food with my dad, had some pasta, some four cheese pasta. We went to where My Chemical Romance grew up, so that was really cool, because I love them. And then we went to New York, which is New York, and maybe I think that was probably where I started feeling the illest. I spent maybe like 18 hours of our day off in bed, doing absolutely nothing, and then we woke up at 3 p.m., realized that we had a hotel room, went into the hotel room, ordered Chinese food, went back to bed, woke up the next day. But the shows in New York are always really good. I had an actually really interesting interview about mental health, which I never thought I would enjoy something like that, but it was it was kind of interesting. But yeah, the show is good. I just felt really sh I just felt sh I felt like sh it was the worst. But then afterwards, we went out to a bar, which was a pool bar, which I'm not very good at pool, but it was fun. Oh! And then also, we went out to see Stonewall, like Stonewall Inn, which was really cool. I never thought I'd be in that in person. And there were some really cool signs all over the walls, just like talking about Stonewall and talking about, you know, all the different flags and who designed them and what they mean, which was really cool. Boston was really cool. Nothing really notable happened in Boston, again, just because I was ill and sleeping most of the time. The show is really good. <laughs> The crowd has always been really good. I say that having only played it twice. And then Toronto, I think, was maybe my favorite show so far. It was definitely the biggest one. It was like 95% sold out, which I wasn't expecting. was so nice everybody was so lovely the vip was so nice and there's just something about toronto that is so much nicer than the rest of america People are so much nicer. The general vibes are so much nicer. I actually went to a walk-in center in Toronto because I was ill. And there's no threat of guns. Yeah, there was no threat of guns. I went to a walk-in center because I was ill. And it only cost 60 pounds to be seen 
literally at that moment, which I really wasn't expecting. And then Cleveland was Cleveland. Me and Corey have both had like the best times anytime we got to Cleveland. Although our tour manager did see a guy walking around with a giant swastika on his back. So like maybe I just won't spend that much time in Cleveland again. But we went to this really nice cafe that had like acai bowls, they had smoothies, they had really good vegan food. So that was fun. The show in Cleveland was really good. Nothing notable though. I, you know, if I look at my camera roll between now and when I started to get ill, most of the pictures that I've taken are just of my tonsils and my uvula because I've never had a blister on my uvula, but that's the thing that I have now. And then yesterday we had a day off in the hotel and I tried to sleep and I struggled to sleep and I struggled to sleep last night. Uh, so I've maybe had like three hours max, but at least I'm not feeling ill. <laughs> Look, Edward Cullen. Racist. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Fuck! Oh. Uh. I prefer dicks. I will go dicks. <laughs> What the f what the f so we played Chicago last night and that was absolutely the best show of the entire tour. Probably, well, definitely one of the best shows I've ever played. I had the most fun. Matt said it was the best show that we played together. Charlie said it was the best show that we played together. I can't decide if it was better than London. But I think the show was better. I feel like London was different because I had my entire friend and family there. Friend, my entire friend. My entire friendship group and family there. Oh, Chicago was just so good. It was so good. Although there was one guy that was like a foot taller than everybody else, and the pits were really good. There was this one guy that was yeeting everyone. You all right? No. <laughs> no. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. <laughs> well, that's what I was about to say. Dude, it I'm was... from Florida, dude. <laughs> same, same cool. It was 28 degrees yesterday, and then we get here. There's snow. How far away are we from Chicago? Maybe like six hours. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this country is insane. Dude, yeah. Green room, but it's just the most amount of sofas you'll ever see in your life. Have you ever I seen this many that. sofas ever? I don't think I've ever seen this many sofas ever. Right? I like this one. That one's sick. This one's cute. You got a corner sofa, they got a recliner. This one is comfy. These are f insane. Marshmallow. Callum bears and trees, are you all right? I'm having the best time. <laughs>
Like the first little fade out song You're in it a part of me I've been waiting so patiently For things to get better <laughs> You're just, just like Chicago I didn't come out. <laughs> One more red ball. There he goes. Never seen again. Brilliant, brilliant. And the crowd is wild. Insane. Destiny. We're not on the curve. Like here. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A, little, a little wider, please. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. Okay, we're just going to go like that. Just so everyone's aware, I odds on Ian to down a whole bottle of <laughs> paracetamol of ibuprofen and then yeah it's not I, I really did, worth, and i didn't it's, do it it's there i'd say <laughs> i'd say that's present you see he's a little bit wider hello i'm in the woods in the darkness in the night we're in denver today we played kansas city last night that was really good i wasn't expecting as good of a crowd I had a wonderful time. Also, my friend Ty came, Ty Turner, Partar 400 or 40 or something, Trans King, I'll make a man out of you, transition compilation Ty Turner. So that was fun. But today we're in Denver. We're playing the Bluebird. This is the green room. And we're very high up. How high up are we, Andy? 5,280 feet above sea. That's quite high. I'm a bit lightheaded, so we have oxygen. I don't know how to do it. Can you overdose on this? I think so. I mean, we kind of do it all the time. Yeah, but... It's just a pure form. I don't know if I'm out. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's some oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> Hit it as hard as you possibly can. Connor's go. <laughs> I won. What's going on? So we just got, I got handed when we were coming off stage a little note with some things hanging out the side. And then we opened it up in here 
What does it say, Matt? It says, bracelets from Matt and Charlie. I promised a million, but I didn't know you guys would be in Portland two days later. LMAO. So here's two for you. Thank you so much. Aww. That is so Thank fine. you. Thank you. Thank you to you and yours. Love to you. Stop today and then we'll see you. Like, it's totally dark outside. Like, I have yeah. no reason to wear these things. It's a shot size, but I thought I looked cool. I had green sunglasses on. I had orange ones. Did you see me wear them on? Yes. This is the greatest and best song in the world. Happy birthday. <laughs> Tribute. Oh man. Low on time, me and my brother Carl here. <laughs> we was hitchhiking down along on the road. We both looked at each other. We the court shakes. We are in Seattle right now. I haven't showered in two days. I feel disgusting. All my clothes are dirty. But. We played Portland, Portland, Oregon, I think, yesterday. That was a really good show. It was the second biggest show of the tour. Very fun. Everyone at the venue was really nice. Had probably the biggest mosh pit. Actually, no. I think Chicago might have been bigger, but it was a very good show. We've been raising money for a trans charity that fights anti-trans legislation, and apparently four kids Donated $100 each, just just them. I don't know how many other people donated for other stuff, but that's a lot. And then after the show, we hung out with some of the security that worked at the show, and then went out to a bar, which was really fun. But I met the most insane person I've ever met in my entire life. He's an anti-vaxxer. He believed that everything was run by Satanists, and started talking about orbs, and about how, like, vaccines cause autism. And obviously, like, Corey loves these conversations. I don't. I have never told a man to shut the f up more in my entire life. He fully was just like trying to compare um, having like a head injury to autism and saying, oh, well, if you get hit in the head and you, you lack empathy, oh, sure, surely it's the same thing. It's just a word. Words, words don't mean that anything. He was insane. He was really annoying and made me very annoyed, very angry. And I told him to shut the fuck up. The thing was, he was British. Like, he wasn't even an American crazy, and like, he was American level crazy, which is probably why he lives in America. He lured us into a false sense of security. We were just sat outside, having, having some drinks with our friends, eating some tater tots. He's like, do you guys mind if I join you? We're like, yeah, okay, sure. And then he immediately started talking about energy, and like, light waves, and radio waves, and like, infrared. And we're just like, we're not, this is not the conversation that we're having. And then just starts talking about vaccines, and he like, started talking about COVID. And Corey was like, oh, so you're just against the COVID vaccine? Or are you against all vaccines? And he said, all vaccines. And that was when I just, didn't know. I did not respect his opinion. I did not let him talk. I, I don't care. I'm not upset about it. He was like, and then he ended it being like, oh, well, like, I'm being censored. I'm, I'm being censored. Like, think about all these people that this happened to. Their cars were blown up. They were, they were, they were killed. They died. Just, he was, I just, cra a crazy person. Fully crazy person, completely gone, no chance of recovery. He's just, he's just a crazy person. I'm sorry, that's it. Today we're playing Seattle. We went for Chinese food. It was good Chinese food. It was Sichuan food. This show is 95% sold out, or at least it was a few days ago. So hopefully it will sell out, and that'll be cool. I'm very excited. Nirvana is from Seattle, so hopefully the crowds are good, even though none of them probably were alive to see Nirvana live. Hello, we're at the Vera Project, which is my favorite venue, because look at this. And look at that. And look at this. <laughs> and that's the stage. Follow me. I'm so bad at vlogging. Who has this? Are these cassettes? I think so. And there's just some stuff everywhere. You need to look at the um, the graffiti in the bathroom. It's the best graffiti I've ever seen in my life. Oh, oh. Just because you fit doesn't mean I do. 
I haven't even seen this. Oh, what? This is sick. What you prefer pronouns? How to be a trans ally. That's very nice. And there's also all gender bathroom. Very cool. Very cool. The doors are gay. What? Look at that. Look at that. And also, trans punks roll. Hell yeah, they do. Look how close we are to the space needle. It's like 45 minutes before VIP, and I didn't realize, but the green room is like right. It's like right at the queue. People just don't believe that. It's like it's right at the queue. <laughs> So we had a day off yesterday in Ashland and it was really pretty. We pretty much didn't do anything until the evening when we went out for a big team meal and we ate some food. Everyone got prawns. I got a steak. Corey got something vegan. And then we went out to a, a British pub where the person that works there recognized me, but it was closed. But they had a bunch of like weird, like they had, they had a, they had a tower bridge artwork piece above the, the bar. We're in a, a real British pub and they got Tower Bridge. There's there's Matthew Swell, Charlie Manning, Corey Well. Corey goes to me, Elliot Simon. And now we are in Berkeley. It's not on fire. And then we got some Thai food and we're about to sound check. special uh, thing to talk about today. Uh, it's actually one of my buddy's birthdays. Can everyone turn around and point at Elliot <laughs> and say, happy birthday, Elliot! I love the shit out of you! <laughs> so what I'd, what I'd really like to do is for Elliot to come up. Hey, Elliot! Get your ass! Here! Not just the whole body! Fuck merch, fuck merch! Hey, stop filming! Everyone, boo at Elliot until he comes up! Boo! Boo! Bow, 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 I didn't hear any answers. Can you guys sing? Yeah. Can we sing a lovely song to Elliot here? Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Elliot. You have a candle on your cake with no fire, but that's cool. I love Elliot so much. We met him on the last American tour and everyone fell in love with him. And we were like, oh no, we can't play it. We can't fly an American out to do the merch in the UK tour, but we did. 
because we love him so much. So I have just finished the Berkeley show and I got a message off Hobo Johnson yesterday being like, oh, by the way, man, I recognize you. I was looking at shows in the area and I saw your name. Congrats, bro. I'm like, okay, cool. Thanks, Hobo Johnson. I love you, Hobo Johnson. I didn't say that. And then I'm on stage tonight. I look out at the crowd. I look at, at this, this pole here, this pole here. And Hobo Johnson is there. Hobo Johnson comes to my show. He's just there. Like, the Hobo Johnson that I, like, I'm obsessed with his music. And I have been for years. And I went to his first ever UK show. And I just loved it so much. And he was just there. And I thought that was so cool. But then he left. I didn't get to say hi, apart from that wave I did on stage. And everyone believes me. But it will be very easy for no one to believe me. He was just that. He was, I love Herbert Johnson. But I kind of love it. Who the fuck? That's how did they know Please. I'm here? That's crazy. What's going on? That's crazy as f <laughs> That's him! <laughs> I am currently in a dungeon in Phoenix, Arizona. It's very hot. It's like 37 degrees Celsius. This is the fourth show in a row, which is something that I rarely do because I hate it. Uh, but so far, it's good. My voice is not destroyed. Yesterday, we played San Diego, which was the smallest show of the tour. It was very intimate, but I actually enjoyed it a lot. No offense, LA. No offense, LA. But people in San Diego go off way more. Even though the show is smaller, people in San Diego. I much prefer you. We went to the beach yesterday, which was really fun. San Diego Beach, it was called like Coronado, Coronado Island or something. Uh, I was only there for like an hour, but we played some football, some American football, and that was nice. I haven't been to the beach in ages and I would have gone in the sea, but apparently it's polluted with human waste, which is never fun. So a fun thing that happened yesterday is that while we were parked after the show, a man tried breaking into the van. I'm not sure why. We had a little commotion outside and Matt was very curious about it. So he opened up the door and stuck his head out the door and we were like, Matt, hey, don't do that. And then the guy that was in the fight tried to come into the van and we were like staring out the window and he was like staring at us, like directly at us. But it was fine. We just drove away and we also saw Robbie Shapiro uh, from Victorious. He did like a DJ set. I was not expecting that, but he literally played the same venue that we played. When I was a young what? Oh. What are you reading? Harry Potter. Oh. Driving through Texas with the trans rights. But you can't see it very well, but it's there. Unless you have paralysis of the lips, shut the fuck up. <laughs> 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 that's not me. That's Sorry? Oh, no. That's not me. Oh, Charlie, no one. No That's a good one. <laughs> Maybe Here is the state of the bandwagon at the end of the tour. How sad. It's a proper mess. This is the, the dirtiest thing. But that's okay. Here's a little, a little a wagon tour. The shower was quite nice to be fair. Toilet here. <laughs> and I was only told a few days ago not to flush toilet paper. Because usually there's a sign when they don't want you to flush it. So we made a little bin. It's a little cardboard box. This was my bunk. Rest in peace. And the floor is this this is state. We are we're paying extra for them to clean this because we just do not have time. 